In this video, I'm gonna show you how I cleaned, etched, and sealed this concrete pad. And we're gonna do it right now. About a year ago, I built this deck, and at the same time, I did this concrete pad. I should have sealed this about a year ago. You should wait at least 30 days after new concrete is poured. But as you can see, there are a couple small stains in here that I wasn't able to get out, but I tried my best. And to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever done this. So this is not really a how-to video. This is more like a how I video. And if I can stumble through this and make it work, then maybe you can too. There's plenty of other videos out there too, but if you are interested, here's this one. So first step, I'm gonna just trim this grass around it just so I don't, it doesn't interfere with what I'm doing to the concrete pad itself. Now I'm just gonna get the bulk of this stuff off of here. And as I do this, you'll start to see why I wanna seal this. It is stained because of these leaves. I feel like it wouldn't be as bad once I seal this. Sorry about the traffic. My house is really close to the road. Not much I can do about that. One very important thing when sealing concrete is that you get the concrete as clean as possible before you seal it. If you have a pressure washer, which I do, that's probably the best thing to use to start. I'm gonna use a hose because you might not have a pressure washer. So I'm just gonna hose down what's here, get the bulk of this off, and then I'll show you how to clean and etch. I'll tell you what that's about in a little bit. I'm gonna get all this dirt off of this bottom riser too just so it doesn't fall onto the concrete and stick to it. Now I just wanna get rid of any of the stuff that's stuck between the riser and the concrete. Just use whatever you have on you, whatever's convenient. This was on me, so. And if you can't get it with something like that, I guess you could use a screwdriver. Now I'm gonna etch the concrete. What etching is, is it basically is a type of deep cleaning that gets down into the concrete to allow for a better adhesion of the sealant, or if you're painting. If you don't etch and you seal or you paint, you might have some bubbling, some peeling, pieces will just start coming off of the concrete. And actually that's another thing, if you have already sealed the concrete that you want to seal again, you'll have to scrape that sealer off as best as you can before attempting to do this. Once you peel off all of your old finish, or if you have let your concrete cure for at least 30 days, you're ready to clean and etch. You can get whatever brand you want. I got this stuff because basically it was on the shelf and I read it, it said safe for plants and grass. They're all pretty much the same thing. They are an acid, so that's why I'm wearing gloves. It's a good idea to just be careful while using it. They recommend a one-to-one -one ratio. So I have warm water in here to about here, and then I'm gonna pour this stuff in to about here and mix it up, and then I'll pour it onto the concrete and scrub it clean. I'm using a watering can. You could just mix it up in a bucket if you wanted. This is gonna be convenient. Now I'm just gonna pour this on there and just make sure the whole thing gets covered. And it's sizzling already. That means it's working. I'm going to start to scrub this. You can use a push broom for this, stiff bristle push broom, but I wanted to really get in here and scrub this good. I think it's working pretty good. I wonder if that's stained or if it's actually something that's in the concrete. And 
I think these other small ones are actually stuff that is in the concrete. After scrubbing this down, I'm going to rinse it all off. So I tried not to use a pressure washer, but I have some stains in here that are, are pretty bad. And I know that not everybody has a pressure washer, but it's kind of my go-to when deep cleaning. And you can't let this stuff sit on your concrete. They tell you not to let it dry on there and to rinse it at least three times. So I think this is gonna do a good job. So let's see how clean we can get this. So I scrubbed this thing with the etch and clean. I've pressure washed it and I've scrubbed and scrubbed and I still have this spot here and there's a couple other spots. Uh, you could see that I, when I did this, I kind of did like exposed aggregate because I made this really, really rough. So that's what these darker things are. These are rocks from the concrete mix. But this is a stain, it's bigger. And there's some right here and here and I just cannot get this out of here. I might just have to live with that. Maybe I went a little too long with not cleaning this and sealing it. I don't know. Am I doing it wrong? Let me know. But if you look right here, the pressure washer is definitely working. This is what I was able to clean with just a hose and the scrub brush and that etching clean. And this is with the pressure washer. So I'm gonna clean the rest like that. Do one more rinse over the whole thing and let it dry and see how it looks tomorrow. Okay, now we let it dry for 24 hours. Well, that came out really good. That is nice and clean. There's a couple spots like this and this scattered throughout here, but overall, this looks great. So I'm ready to seal it. You'll know if you're ready for sealer and that the etching worked if it feels kind of like 150 grit sandpaper. This one's gonna be a little hard to tell because it is so rough, uh, but if you have like a, a flat or a smooth concrete, it should feel a little like 150 grit sandpaper. And the next thing that's gonna tell you if it's ready is you need to take a little bit of water and if it starts to absorb, kind of like that, that means that the etching opened up this concrete and it's ready to accept sealer. If it ends up just kind of pooling up here, then you need to etch it again the same way you did it the first time. So I'm good, I can seal this. I'm gonna shake up my sealer before I use it. This is what I'm using, protector and waterproofer. I got natural and I want basically to just protect this. I don't want a sheen or anything. Um, this is gonna be a low luster finish so if you're doing like a garage floor or something you might want it to be shiny and and nice like that but this is outside where there's stairs and I don't want it to be slippery at all if it rains or if in the winter um, I don't want to go flying it says to use this between 50 and 90 degrees and I have a roller a three-quarter inch nap is on it and I have a little paintbrush and I'm basically just gonna pour this on and spread it out I'm gonna start on this end and just pour it on. There's a spider. You're getting sealed in, bro. You wanna pour plenty on here. I don't wanna leave any puddles, but I wanna make sure there's plenty of sealer on here. I'm gonna take my roller and just 
spread it around. I'm not too concerned with it going into the grass. It should be fine. Maybe I put a little too much on. <laughs> if you have puddles that you can't get off with the roller or a brush, you can take some rags and soak it up. There goes that bug. Nice. As you can tell, this is a small concrete pad. It's only about two foot by eight foot. If you're doing an entire garage floor, for instance, you should probably work in small patches just so you don't get too far ahead of yourself and make sure you just cover everything nice and even. I'm gonna take my brush and just make sure I got sealer up to the riser here. I probably don't even need a brush, to tell you the truth. Spread it out a little more. And then I'm just going along and making sure I got it on all along the edge. Got it all to be sealed. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now we wait 24 to 48 hours. So this is after one coat and you can't even tell there's a sealer on it, which is pretty much exactly what I want. It's been 24 hours, so this is completely dry, and I'm gonna put a second coat on. And I'm not gonna use nearly as much as I did last time. I used way too much. And you can spray this on with a pump sprayer, or roll it on, put it in a tray, or brush it on, but I find this to be very easy to do it this way. You can tell the sealer's working because this stuff isn't soaking in. We roll it out. And I just want to make sure it's all evenly coated. That looks like it's covered pretty good. All right, second coat done. So this is what it looks like after the second coat. It also rained for about two days straight, so it got a little dirty in spots. But what I like about it is it doesn't even look like it has a finish, which is exactly what I wanted. You could do anywhere from a natural finish like this to a high gloss, whatever is your preference. Really, the only way you can tell that there's a sealer on here is if you pour some water on it. And that is very telling. That's, that's really cool. So before, it would soak right in. So this is telling me that maybe the stains from the leaves and all the dirt and everything won't set in just like this water isn't soaking in. So now I'm confident that this concrete is nice and sealed and protected for years to come. So even though this was the first time ever doing this, I think it came out great and I am happy with it. As I said, not a how-to video necessarily, more like a how-I video, but maybe you'll get some ideas of how to do your own or maybe you'll get some ideas of how not to do your own. If you're interested in helping to support my channel, you can join my Patreon page. I'll leave a link in the description or you can click the join button below for YouTube memberships. And I have a bunch of behind the scenes footage on there that hopefully you'll enjoy and I really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. In this video, I'm gonna seal this concrete pad. You gotta go quicker than that, bro. Oh, it's gonna be like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about your shins. But it's only a year old. Like I said, 30 days should be talking too much. Cut. Got some stuff stuck under the riser here. There's a pincher! Earwig. Half time. <laughs> this is the easy part, right? Should I not have said the E word? And that's another thing, if you have sealed this already and you have that peeling or bubbling, and actually that's another...
What's this? Nuclear bird shit. I don't know. Must have had Chipotle.